Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. I'm Nick. We've got Joe over there. we got George, our regular co-host. And joining us for the third time, I believe, it's Skip Elsheimer from AV Geeks in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Skip. Hi, Hi Skip. Hi. Yeah. Happy uh, post-Thanksgiving. Um, we're doing a little something different. We've done, uh, last time uh, you were on uh, Saturday, we watched, we did a deep dive into... Um, what was the monster, it? The monster cereals. Monster cereals, yes. Because yep. it was and, an anniversary. And he said, we got to have you back. And I said, what do you want to cover? And he said, how about a deep dive into Mr. Whipple, the yes. Sherman mascot? Because you've and, done the Saturday morning part of the show, but not so much the Saturday. Exactly. Right. And what better uh, time to do it than post-Thanksgiving? Everybody's eating. They're pooping their guts out. And toilet paper is in heavy use unless, like Joe, you've got a... Uh, a bidet, right? I have a bidet. Yeah, I haven't used toilet paper in like four years. But uh, but but uh, speaking of uh, post Thanksgiving, skip behind you. I noticed uh, the greatest painting of all time. I mean, we should probably point that out. Uh, all right, there you go. Yeah, grab that because that's a uh, tis the season. It it's just the, breaks my heart. It could breaks have been my ours, heart Nick. every time. Yeah, we could have, have won ours. this during the uh, toe tapping tournament versus AV geeks, but we lost, of course, and now. At some point after the new year, we have to serve Skip and his wife Katrina Thanksgiving dinner um, while wearing clown outfits. That was that's the, right. That's the clown deal. Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. <laughs> clown Thanksgiving. Clowns giving. Clowns giving. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so that was a painful reminder that we still owe you that. But uh, all right. Well, let's get into what everybody is uh, uh, eating for cereal or uh, cool mugs. I'll, I'll start off just with a, a mug. This is one I haven't shown before. This is a bowler's prayer here. So this is, I guess, a bowling enthusiast mug um, for coffee. And, of course, coffee is a diuretic. So I think, you know, it keeps in, in uh, I don't know, with the theme of the show today. Okay. Got it. it yeah. It makes you shit. Yes. Yes. Got it. That's a uh, I, I am. Uh, I am uh, rocking a liver mug, and uh, I thought this was fitting because I, because the the liver has like a concerned look on his face, doesn't he? Which I think my liver probably has a concerned look on his face too. I think this is the expression <laughs> of my liver. Actually, yeah. it's a about twenty five years a, having a little bit of fun, but kind of like eh, uh -huh. eh. like yeah. Should, yeah. Should so. I stop? No, uh, no, no, just a hundred more. <laughs> George, what do you have today? Uh, I actually have, for the first time ever, the funniest mug ever made. It is the to be determined green screen mug. Some viewer can put something hilarious on here, and oh, it will become like the funniest mug ever. And I'm just, I just, I can't believe I found it. Um, I welcome all of your uh, your chrome key features. Um, we should we should sell those on our on our web store. Yeah, I think, like uh, yeah, I think that those would fly, fly I, off the shelf. I agree. All right, yeah. we'll see if we get any takers. We'll share them, of course, on a future episode. And Skip, what are you uh, eating or drinking from today? Well, so we'll start off with this uh, Nescafe coffee mug. Mm. Like I don't know if Ooh. you remember. You guys might be too young again, but this used to be a thing where for Nescafe coffee, where it have some guy on a yacht and he'd be drinking out of this. My grandmother saved up enough labels for Nescafe that she got one and gave it to me. And what I will be doing is I will be putting it uh, this morning uh, using this cereal. <gasps> I'm familiar. Perfect. Yes. Perfect cereal for today. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, I'm going to uh, not have a lot of this because it's got so many warnings on it about it. it's like you have to have it with liquid. Otherwise, it's a choking hazard. So it's um, not just a joke. It's like a real cereal. Yeah. And it smells like sawdust. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. That was going to be my guess. Yeah, a uh, uh, regular Melinda, uh, Bob Hedges sent me that. And also, Bob sent me this uh, liver mug. So, oh, nice. uh, <laughs> Bob Hedges uh, represented in this episode. Yeah. Excellent. All right. That's all I'm going to have. If Just you that. need to excuse yourself at any Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid it's going to be pretty bad. And by the way, would your grandma <laughs> sip from that mug on her yacht, too? Or yeah. was it just okay? Yeah. <laughs> how how exactly do champions poop? I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna find out. It says it's like, the is, it, is it on like those you know those steps with the one, two, and three, and they're yeah, at the, the podium, the winners. Yeah. But it's on yeah. two. It's yeah. they they always uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, I like that. All right, Skip, report back, and that seems like the right amount. 
but you know, I, I feel like we got to get started with a, a serial commercial to get us started. And um, of course, Black Friday yesterday, so everyone's trying to get the hot new toys. And boy, in 19, uh, in the early to mid 80s, there's no hotter toy than uh, the Cabbage Patch Kids. These are kids who love these Cabbage Patch Kids. And this is their Cabbage Patch Kids cereal. It's a perfect match. It's Cabbage Patch Kids cereal. It's so yummy, tasting fun to eat. Low in sugar, too. Each smiling Cabbage Patch Kids has a crispy taste. The good, good, good for you. What are this nutritious breakfast? I have a feeling it probably tasted like kicks, you know, or like um, I think it was uh, wisp. We, had, we tried it, and I think to me, um, because we couldn't afford Cabbage Patch Kids right away, we had to get it like three years after the craze had started, uh, my sister and I, but we were able to get the cereal. Um, cereals, we just had carte blanche <laughs> uh, with right. for some reason, and I believe it tasted kind of like cinnamon sugar a little bit. That's my recollection of it, but I could okay. be wrong. I feel like they almost always taste like Quisp. You know, they're just like, what do you want this one to taste like? Uh, Mr. T cereal, what do you want it to taste like? Oh, let's go with Quisp. Sweet yeah, all the, all the Ralston cereals tasted exactly the same. Yep. And it's they all taste the same 30 years later after sitting in the collector's closet. <laughs> we have proven that. <laughs> oh, do they ever. Now, we, no. do have, we do have some actual cartoon content on Saturday Morning Cartoons as well. So at halftime of the Mr. Whipple and Charmin commercials, we're going to watch promos for Christmas episodes of cartoons, uh, Christmas specials. So um, because, you know, right after um, Thanksgiving, that's when the ads for the Christmas specials begin and Christmas toys. So we'll do that at halftime. But Skip, take us to school on the history of Charmin commercials. I can't wait. Yeah, so um, essentially Charmin was this this Northwestern, I guess they were based in Wisconsin, uh, paper company, and Procter & Gamble bought them. And supposedly the toilet paper was not very good. It was kind of rugged uh, <laughs> for, I guess, for that uh, that. I know what you're talking area. about. I, yeah, I've, so, yep, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. It was very rough. I think they were uh, at our uh, high schools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this was like in the, in the fifties and then um, they figured out a way to process the paper uh, so that when you pressed it, you didn't like squeeze it out. Like you actually made it puffy using hot air. And they're like, interesting. Oh, yeah. Because in the ads, you'll see they always showed the stack of Charmin was higher. It was fluffier right. than normal tissue. Right. Interesting. And so they, um, they started marketing Charmin as being a gentler, um, more kind, more, you know, all these different things. They were trying all these different ways to get it. To, and basically, they were being trounced by Scott's. Uh, Scott had a two ply. Uh, Ooh toilet paper brand that was just doing really, really well. And so uh, we're going to watch a couple of commercials in this first batch that were pre Mr. Whipple. Oh, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's take and including some cartoons. Can, can I just ask real quick, like what, what do you think toilet paper was like, like in the 1930s? I bet it was terrible. Don't you oh, think? Yeah. Well, oh, if yeah. you look, if you look at what um, sanitary napkins, like maxi pads were back then, like there was a belt involved. So like, uh, so that toilet paper had to be like, I think toilet paper had a belt too. I think, <laughs> I think it was a belt. Just do that. Yeah. Thing. Oh. It's a really tight belt. You used yeah. your belt back then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This let's... cereal, this cereal, by the way, is flavorless and it's horrible. Oh, <laughs> so bad. Oh, Plus boy. I accidentally got buttermilk and this is disgusting. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> if you have to excuse yourself. Uh, yeah, I might, it might yeah. come out the other end. All right. All we'll right. see. Pump yeah. it like a champion. <laughs> Password is Charmin. Pass it on. Oh, it's like black market. The password is Charmin. Oh, bathroom tissue. The improved bathroom tissue. Charmin used to be gentle, now it's gentler. Oh, wonderful. And you know why? No. Science has come up with a new secret process uh -huh. that makes Charmin gentler. Good news. 
And it has a gentle fragrance, too. Yeah. <laughs> Help. Oh, madam, allow me. I'll handle this situation. Okay. <laughs> That's perfectly all right. I know about these things. Yeah. The longest right. commercial. Certainly. It's a minute. The password is shaman. It's gentler and it's improved. Science has found a new process. Yes, it's a secret. That's the point. It's supposed to be a secret. Are you bust again, Billings Gate? You're an incompetent master spy, and they told me at the top that you, that you improved, improved. N no, 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 not me. Charmin. You improved Charmin is gentler. Gentle fragrance, too. Try it. I so mean, it's scented. The idea, the idea of a scented toilet paper just really grosses me out. I do remember my grandparents had the colored, I think Northern maybe was the ones that had the colored. Yeah, the pastels. Uh, yeah, it was like yeah. green and orange and stuff, which is just, I mean, like what, I guess what color do you want to see poop smeared in? You know, like, what, <laughs> like let's go, let's, let's not uh, mince words they have, here. They have patterns sometimes. Yeah. yeah they just like yeah. want to make it look pretty before the uh, the carnage comes along. We're, we're yeah. 10 minutes in and no one has said the word Heine yet. Uh, Heine. Well, Hey, the morning is young. All right, here we go. She learned a new word. Gentle. That's gentle. And that's gentle. She learned a new word. Gentle. This is gentle. What is it? New shaman bathroom tissue. It's gentle because look. Because see Gentle. What happened? Has something happened? She learned a new word. Gentle. This is gentle. It is gentle. Feel this new Charmin bathroom tissue. Now, they, now this is the uh, beginning, I think, of uh, the ladies in the supermarket feeling bathroom tissue. And this oh. guy looks a little like what would become Mr. Whipple. So this could be early origin story. Well, what's going on here? She learned a new word. Gentle. This new Charmin bathroom tissue is gentle. Feel it. It's the new Charmin bathroom tissue. Gentlest tissue in the store. The price is gentle, too. I'm a cop. What is going on? She learned a new <laughs> word. Gentle. This new Charmin bathroom tissue is gentle. Gentle. I'm a cop. What is going on? <laughs> Never should have married you. For 60 years, and I've hated every minute. Tried it starts real dark. That <laughs> is. <laughs> Both of these, these are like mid-60s. And there's, uh, yeah, they're trying to dispel all the anger in the world with uh, their toilet paper. So the older generation <laughs> is being sort of sent up here. Right. Um, okay, this is like graduate style plastics, but you know. Yeah. Never should have married you. For 60 years, and I've hated every minute. Try to use a true tenderness. Oh, tenderness the birds? <laughs> George, can Overlord cover this? Martha, dear. What? We have. This Charmin is tender. Yes, it is tender. Tender fragrance, too. Uh-huh. Ooh. This will cover up the poop smell. But they're getting, they're like sexually attracted to each other because yeah. the toilet paper smells good? Well, it's the general region, I guess. I, you know, I don't know. It's all they needed, man. <laughs> yeah, they're going to spice it up because the uh, scent of the bathroom tissue is a powerful aphrodisiac, I guess. I'd, I'd like to see Don Draper pitching this one to the room. <laughs> and uh, everybody's like, yeah, okay, it's Don. You know, he always What's the worst right. part about using the toilet? The smell. <laughs> <laughs> the shit. <laughs> what if we took air freshener and put it in the toilet paper? All right. Hey, Mark! Hey, what? Move that heat! Heat? Move it! Yeah, move! I'm warning you! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, the birds are back. Gee, miss, I, I'm sorry. Oh, gee, this shaman really is tender. Yeah, tender. Yeah, Squeezing it. Down tender, is it soft, it's cushiony. What tender, insane yeah. world are they living in? <laughs> what, what, what's this insanity? Like. They were fighting a second ago, but now that they got some toilet paper handed to them, that they, they get along now. But it's gentle and tender, and it smells good. 
And yeah, she he thought oh. she was a man, and I don't know why they added that, but <laughs> there was some sort of some sort of gender confusion too in here, mixed in with the rest of and the plot. And she looks like someone who was on Dallas or Falcon. Yeah. Fest or something like Cushion. That. Oh, really? I could. Yeah, I mean, she has that look to her. I don't know if that's her, but yeah. Tender, yeah. yeah. Mm, tender fragrance, too. <sighs> no, I thought you were a guy. Oh, do I look like a guy? <laughs> What? what is going on? It's nonsense. I do like that song a lot, though. I just, I can't believe they sold out like that. It used to be about the music. <laughs> it used to be about the toilet paper. <laughs> so, All right. So, yeah, that's that's the first batch of pre-Mr. Whipple, who would become their famous mascot. So right off the bat, you can see it's not just about wiping your butt. It's about a whole other thing. It's about this life experience, about love and tenderness and and close, intimate contact. And um, <laughs> you sound like Don Draper now. Yeah, tender, <laughs> well, I'm not it's crazy. I mean, tender fragrance at, too. Uh. Yeah, exactly. So it's you know Benton Bowles is the advertising agency that that did this uh, for Procter and Gamble. They did a lot of Procter and Gamble things, um, and they also did Sugar Bear, which we saw. The first time I was on your show. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're, they're geniuses. They're horrible, twisted geniuses. Um, and so there's, a, there's these anecdotes going around. Like, how do they come up with this whole idea of don't squeeze a Charmin? And one of the stories is that they were at execs in a, in a room, probably smoking a bunch and drinking a bunch and throwing oh, yeah. toilet paper back and forth and kind of spitballing ideas. And um, one of them like picked up the, the toilet roll and started squeezing it. And the guy's like, oh, don't don't squeeze the Charmin. And they're like, wait the a light minute. light bulb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some other people say that's not true. That's not how that happened. But um, this is an amazing campaign because it has you concentrate on squeezing the Charmin and not, and not being allowed to squeeze it because it is so squeezably soft. But it's really... It's not talking about what the purpose of the Sherman is, which is just wiping your butt clean. Right. And um, so this campaign, they, they kind of did like a pilot of it and they actually launched it in Flushing Meadows or in Flushing, New York. I mean, mm -hmm. um, unironically. And they, <laughs> oh. did, they did testing <laughs> where they called people uh, like housewives and like normal commercials, they have a recollection of like 5% or you know, 20%. The the first Mr. Whipple ad was 55%. And they were like, oh my God. And this 55 is 55% like, re approval? Like they uh, liked it? Recallability. Oh, like recall. They remember. remember the commercial. And um, so Procter & Gamble was like, this is great. Let's do it. And so they were like, well, what are we going to name this guy? And so I guess the, the common thing that they would do is they would come up, find a name, and then try to find somebody who, who had the name. Then they would pay them to license the name so that they cleared it from at least one person. So there was an ad exec at Benton and Bowles named um, George Whipple, and they paid him a dollar. And uh, they hired Dick Wilson, who was, uh, you know, he was an established vaudeville actor and was in films uh, in lots of TV shows. He's like an amazing character actor. And what's interesting is he mostly played a drunk. <laughs> he played like a comic drunk. Is this and him, I, the guy who's on screen right now? Is yeah. that him? Is that, yeah. That's Dick Wilson. Okay. Dick Wilson. And um, I remember seeing him on um, Bewitched. Me you know, too. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Playing the drunk. But he was he played drunk on, on stage, was very acrobatic about it. Um, you know, back when being drunk was funny. Um, <laughs> just, Joe still thinks it is, but yeah. it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm laughing already. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they hired him and... What they started off with was the premise, what they were thinking about was like, you know, like women, when they're in a grocery store, they're always squeezing all the produce. Oh, yeah. And they're like, well, you know, squeezing the apples and the squeezing the, the tomatoes to see how fresh they are. Mm -hmm. But like, what would happen if they squeezed the Charmin and then you have this grocer who's watching and who's irritated, but he himself cannot help but squeeze, squeeze the Charmin, even after he lectures women about it. 
it's just tell people something they can't do they want to do it and i remember going to a grocery store as a kid and like seeing the commercials and then you know i had to squeeze the charmin because you're there it worked it, it worked, worked on you don't you think that the don draper pitch would have been like what's the when you're going to the bathroom you are squeezing and it's mm. you're relating the squeezing of the charmin to the sort of expulsion of uh fecal matter mm -hmm. yes. That sounds yeah, like yeah. something Don would say. Yep. Well, there's um, the guy who did the um, that wrote that book about how like all the ad popular advertising is basically hidden sex. Uh, mm -hmm. Key is his last name. Um, he he wrote this thing about the it was the clam bake orgy where supposedly there was an ad for uh, Howard Johnson's clam strips, but it looked like an orgy. Um, so, anyways, he said that that's what this was about. That this is all about. It's like Freudian. It's anal, but it's also, yeah, it's squeezing, squeezing the poop. Oh, wow, I that seems like a stretch. But did oh, they did they do that intentionally no, it's or did it stretch? Just... It's a squeeze. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the opposite. Well, sometimes it stretches if it's. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, so we're going to watch some Mr. Whipple commercials, uh, yeah. the, the origins. And we should say, I mean, this was, I guess, at a time when advertisers thought that only women shopped and uh, did the, the grocery shopping. Uh, maybe that was mostly true in the 50s. Obviously, that's that's changed. I buy my own toilet paper, for example. Um, but uh, so let's watch these. Some early Mr. Whipples. Squeezes or the produce. Squeezes the tomatoes. Then she squeezes the melons, and now she's squeezing the Charmin. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. But this is a new Charmin bathroom tissue. It's so squeezably soft. Mrs. Logan. I just can't resist it. <laughs> if you only knew, Mrs. Logan, I can't resist it myself. I like to sneak a squeeze on the sly. Squeezably soft. And that fragrance Charmin has added. Nice touch. Thank you, Mr. Loud. Whipple, please don't squeeze the Charmin. Don't squeeze the Charmin in the store. <laughs> squeeze it at home. He, he's like a he's like a pervert with a compulsion. Like he can't help himself, even though he knows it's naughty that he shouldn't do it. He 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 does it himself. There is something he, sort like, of perverse about it. At home, yeah. When he gets home after his shift at yeah. night, like by himself, what goes on in that? Yeah, apartment of his. There's a lot uh, of really negative uh, press about Mr. Whipple. Why? I mean, because of this, what you're saying, which is he's pervy, he's very prissy, <laughs> he's very. They like use all these words about like. He's just trying to protect his merchandise. But no, he's like, you know, he's got some other agenda. You know, that's outrageous. New Charmin bathroom oh. tissue. Squeezably soft. But Mr. Whipple. Jimmy, I have reason to believe that that guy showing the new pumped up Charmin is actually urging the women to squeeze it. Let's go. Well, you're the boss, Mr. Whipple. Already, it's already getting convoluted, and this is like the second commercial. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Well done, new Charmin. It, it's three's company all of a sudden. Up a pillow. Charmin's plumper now. It's more squeezably soft. Hmm. Oh, plumped up Charmin is more squeezably soft. New Charmin even looks softer. It is vaguely sexual. Squeeze away, girls. Squeeze away. Comes the reckoning. Mr. Whistle. You ladies know better. And you, you tempter, you. What the hell's blame going on? This plumped up stuff is even softer. <laughs> Mr. Whipple, please, please don't, don't squeeze the Charmin. New Charmin, plumped up like <laughs> a pillow, to be more so squeezably soft. Weird. Comes the reckoning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember just thinking the name Mr. Whipple was funny too. Yeah. Like, yeah, there was, I think there was life size standees of him sometimes at the grocery store. What's that for, Mr. Whipple? This will stop the ladies from squeezing Charmin when I'm not here. Oh. It electrocutes them. It, it, it administers a small <laughs> electric shock that will Pavlovian way uh, force them not to. Charmin vacuum tissue, so squeezably soft. It's irresistible. Deep down, squeezably soft. Soft fragrance, too. <laughs> Don't squeeze the Charmin. Uh-huh. You see, ladies, when you squeeze Charmin, there's always a Whipple watching. Please, don't squeeze the Charmin. 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 
It's like a Twilight Zone Jeez. episode. <laughs> yes. But that's so, just, I, so... <clears throat> I've cut a lot. I mean, I yeah. literally had two hours. I mean, we could just sit and watch the same story over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, I would love it, to watch it, this on yeah. the big screen. Like, I'd love to, like, <laughs> oh, rent, let's rent out a theater. Let's four wall a theater. Whipple Fest. Yeah, admission. Mr. Whipple Film Festival. Whip, yes. Whipple Fest. Yeah, yeah. Whipple, Whipple 22. Fest. Yes. Oh, I would watch that. See this on the big screen? Finally. And, and Wait, Skip, we... Skip, you have these on 16 millimeter? I don't. The, so these were part of a project that I digitized a bunch of uh, TV commercials for a university archive. These are all part of the Duke University ad views thing. And you can uh, see them all there. If you go to ad views on uh, Internet Archive, you can see even more. Um, and I watched a lot of these recently. So, <laughs> so let's just go like wait a year before we do this. Cause, yeah. Right. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, 2024, maybe. <laughs> Since Charmin's doubly fluffy, I'll need two whipples to stop ladies from squeezing. Charmin's doubly fluffy, doubly irresistible. Ladies, please don't squeeze. Why not? You are. Sorry, Mr. Whipples. Charmin made the ordinary way might not get squeezed, but Charmin's doubly fluffy, doubly fluffy. is so squeezably soft. It's doubly irresistible. Whipple, you're fired. Charmin, doubly fluffy, <laughs> doubly irresistible. Doubly Rosie, fluffy. So, uh, yeah, pause it. Uh, so I think that's when they actually reduced the sheet count count down mm. to 500 sheets. From 650. From 650. And a lot of people, well, it was like almost a Federal Trade Commission uh, class action lawsuit because it was like people were arguing like, sure, it's softer, but it, you usually use just one sheet or however many sheets when you poop mm -hmm. and you're shorting us. You look, it makes it look like it's more, but it's actually less. I see, because to get, uh, yeah, the roll that's that size, it's fluffy, so it fits I, on the roll, but fewer sheets, ultimately. I like that the FTC had to have this conversation, like, how many <laughs> how many sheets do you use when you... <laughs> Toilet paper <laughs> gate. <laughs> so here's a crossover episode uh, with uh, another pop popular uh, Procter & Gamble product and uh, character. Is this Madge I soaked in it? Is this her? No, no, it's no, this it's bounty broken. quicker paper upper. Oh, yeah, the it's the upper. crossover. So this is like, like uh, no. this is like <laughs> yeah. the uh, Avengers uh, movies where they just have all the different ones coming together. Yeah, from their A list. Okay, here we go. Rosie, Bounty and Charmin are offering their savings of the year. What? Bounty and Charmin are offering twenty five cents in coupons in this week's paper. Look. Oops. <laughs> For you, the quicker picker upper. For I me, recognize her. From Bounty and Charmin. I'm getting over to Mr. Whipple's store. Charmin and Bounty Savings of the Year? They'll be squeezing the Charmin. Keep down the banner. I'm here, Whipple, ready to cash in. Too late. Hi, Rosie. Listen, let me get this offer straight. If I buy two packs of Bounty... And two packs of Charmin... Yeah, and clip this coupon, I get 25 cents off, right? 25 cents off. Is that a savings, lady? It sure is. Savings on squeezably soft Charmin? <laughs> Terrific. Mm. Ladies, please, don't squeeze. I feel faint. Have some water, Mr. Whipple. Oops. Have some bounty butterfingers. Look for the oh, Charmin and what? Bounty Savings of the Year. Who is she? I recognize her and stuff. That's Rhoda's mom. Uh, okay. Plus, she directed uh, Don't Stop the Music. Really? Oh, okay. The Village okay. People uh, bio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. She has a she had a great sort of New York voice, or you know, seemed like probably a theater actor. And, yeah, she was uh, a big Broadway performer prior to. Okay, uh, yeah, you know, what a crossover! This is like when Urkel like was on Full House or something. You know, this right. is like huge. On in this week's newspapers. Finally, a robot to stop ladies from squeezing Charmin. Don't, don't squeeze Charmin. Don't, don't, don't squeeze Charmin. Charmin's doubly fluffy, doubly don't irresistible. Charmin. Don't squeeze. <gasps> Squeeze, squeeze, Charmin, squeeze, Charmin, <laughs> right. Charmin made the ordinary way, might not squeeze be squeeze squeeze right. Charmin's doubly fluffy. It's so squeezably soft. It's doubly irresistible. Don't squeeze, Charmin. Don't squeeze. Hello. All right, and so this one right here is, is yeah. getting towards the winding down and changing how they're going to talk about Charmin. Uh, the thing is, Benton and Bowles hated this campaign. Oh, they, they did? absolutely hated it. And they got they caught l so much shit from other uh, agencies 
That's ironic. <laughs> it, it was, and they themselves were, they kept trying to introduce other things, like other campaigns. Like there's a Charmin factory one that I, we didn't have time to watch that has a whole bunch, has Charlotte Ray in it. And it has a, a whole bunch of those. There's a whole thing about, um, of the no name brand, uh, the generic brand, mm. they're like trying to deal with that. They they kept trying other things, and none of them. Procter, Procter and Gamble was like, "No, this is too popular. We're just going to keep doing this." Everybody hates this. Uh, I did some research in in all these ad how to write advertising. They talk about how horrible this campaign is. Oh, so they hated it, but they, but they had to write it because Procter and Gamble was like, "Stick with it." Yeah, and because there was a there was a portion of the population that just loved it, and it just right. made them number one. Like they surpassed Scott the Scott brands and all the other brands, yeah. and they just kept going. I feel like catchphrases like that catch on sometimes. Like I always think of the "Got Milk" thing. Like they're like, they're still doing parodies of "Got Milk," and they ended that campaign a long time ago. You oh, still yeah. see like got lawyers you know or like got got <laughs> something you know like they still do that so like yeah. this must have been one of those where it's just like it just oh, yeah. grabbed everybody or it's like if a band has a song that they didn't like but that's the one that becomes popular and they just have to keep playing it at concerts for the rest yeah. of their lives yeah. Ooh, i know that feeling like. <laughs> <laughs> hello i'm mr whipple remember me and please don't squeeze the Charmin. these signs all over my store well out they go. You didn't pay attention. You squeezed anyhow. But it wasn't all bad. The squeezing got you to take Sherman home. The softness kept you coming back for more. With good reason. Look, two stacks. Same number of sheets. Now, if Sherman were made the ordinary way, it would stack up like this. This visual is just Charmin made their money shot. Way, yep. It's doubly fluffy. It, and that's why it's... So isn't he a grocery store guy? Like, what... Why is he doing this? I think, I think <laughs> it's sort of peeling the curtain back and being like, hi, I played Mr. Whipple. Remember me? But yeah, I don't think he's the grocery store clerk anymore. I think he's so he's not Mr. Whipple anymore. I think he's like he's broken the fourth wall at this point and he's yes. inviting you into the Charmin factory. Oh, I see. OK. But by the way, that is pretty brilliant to have signs up in the store that say don't do something when it's kind of a wink wink. Yeah, you know, having seeing a "Don't Squeeze the Charmin" next to a stack of Charmin, like, pretty genius idea. Oh yeah, that's like and that's the whole yeah. idea with Charmin. The squeezing gets you. The softness keeps you. All right, visibly older, Mister Whipple. There, um, we got another batch. But what what are we going to see in the last one, Skip? Do you have to give us a little tease of the the last segment? So you know, we talked about uh, Whipple's personal life. So we get to meet his family. Um, and supposedly, maybe he was a little pervy because he has five different wives. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into uh, what? Oh, that's yeah. a good tease. That's they a good teaser. Thing. They couldn't handle a scat fetish, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now, on a normal episode, you know, this is where we would take the commercial break, but now we're going to take a um, cartoon Christmas special break. Let's watch these. Saturday morning cartoons. We'll be right back. Joni Loves Chachi will be seen one half hour later tonight. Do anything you want, darling. It's Christmas. They're celebrating the holidays right after this special presentation. It's Christmas! Sorry, Joni Loves Chachi. Christmas, Christmas comes to Packlands <laughs> happening tonight. Christmas comes to Eternia, and you'll want to be there. It's the all-new He-Man She-Ra Christmas special. Monday at 3 on Channel 13. The the happiest day. Christmas special ever. The glow is that friends. The glow Christmas. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we have that on you on VHS too. So any of these we could actually queue up uh you know next month for our Christmas uh Saturday uh, episode. I'm, I'm gonna say pass. <laughs> happiest Christmas special ever. The glow friends save Christmas. Dear glow friends, and everyone we know is so full of joy. I, I'm going to change it to hard pass. <laughs> well, wait till you see, wait till you see this, though. And Bill Sally Stiller? Struthers is the Wicked Witch. Oh, Say goodbye to Christmas. I'm blowing it up. What will happen? Find out in the Glow Friends Save Christmas. The Glow Friends Save Christmas. Friday morning at 7.30 on Channel 2. There's only one, two. Friday morning at 7.30. Oh, that's that's prime time. <laughs> For kids, it is. <laughs> 
Friday though? Like Friday yeah. at seven thirty? Like Saturday <laughs> maybe? But Friday? This is a, a poop themed episode or a poop related episode. So I, I the catchphrase of this particular station, this was taped off. I think is fitting. It's only one, two. Everybody's ready for Christmas except the Bear family. We must find a tree soon. It's the animated musical special, The Berenstain Bears Christmas Tree. Then, the little rascals turn into little angels as they learn the true meaning of Christmas. It's sure and sure alike. Two holiday specials Monday. I wouldn't mind watching that one. The rascals one? I was going to suggest yeah. that. Yeah. I think we should watch that one for sure, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yogi Bear and the gang join Casper and Harry Scary for Casper's Christmas Wish. Then, a dream come true makes is the that holidays... The, is that Shaggy? Extra it's, it's, Ka it's Casey Kasem doing the VO on both of these. The, yeah, the, the one before. Then he shag. Ho, ho. Mm -hmm. ho, ho. Yes. Yogi Bear and the gang join Casper and Harry Scary for Casper's Christmas wish. Then a dream come true makes uh -huh. the holidays extra special in a family Wait, do we have that? Mm -hmm. We do. We have their Easter. We have uh, Easter. And... I don't. Do we have Christmas? Though? I think I we do. Christmas. Wow. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, that'd be. I know we have Easter. Watch. It's Tuesday. Friday, it's a family holiday festival on NBC. First, it's the year's biggest animated musical, starring the voices of Sheena Easton and Julian Lennon. <laughs> a must-see world premiere. <laughs> Charles Dickens' classic, David Copperfield. Yeah, let's skip that one. To all of you. Join us for the New Kids on the Block Christmas special. Friday wow. at 9, 8, We watched that one. We watched yeah. that one on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. This is it. This is just what I need to destroy this first Christmas. Oh, how they'll suffer. And after they've suffered long enough, I'll destroy them all, one by one. <laughs> the Smurfs Christmas Special will return after these messages. I didn't remember Gargamel um, being that violent. Like, he, want, he wanted to destroy them all. And then he also said he wanted to make them suffer, which is pretty dark for a like poison Saturday. them, maybe like a, a slow death. Is yeah. That what okay. Well, we know where this is going to go, right? I mean, he's going to find somehow a Christmas miracle, and then at the <laughs> end, he's going to change. It's, it's Learn like the true cruise. meaning of Christmas. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, and it'll change permanently. Uh, that'll be part of the canon until the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. All right, well, let's get out of those commercials and into some more uh, commercials. So uh, skip a little bit more about what we're going to see here. Yeah, so this is, um, I, I pulled Whipple, uh, Charmin commercials that are basically Whipple and his family. Um, and one of the things I wanted to point out was like in 1973, there was a poll done uh, by, I think by Benton and Bowles to see who was the most recognizable people in the United States. Nixon was number one. Whipple was number two. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Perfect. Nixon Whipple 72 would have. <laughs> that yeah. ticket. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Whipple just kept going like into the, well into the eighties. So, and you think about it, like, you know, all that stuff being broadcast into space. There's so much Whipple footage out there. I, the world, I, I just the feel it. I just feel like that would be the one of the best jobs. Like I always say that the best job would be the like voiceover and a cartoon, you know, voiceover actor. But also just being the spokesperson, like the the Can You Hear Me Now Verizon guy or like Flo from Progressive or Mr. Whipple. You show up to set, you read like, I don't know, you probably show up for like 10 minutes and you read the lines and you go home and you collect just bank. I don't know. You're like, the I, you're the spokesman for uh for tedium, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, they, they hired me. Promotion. Yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah, but the only problem is for the, this guy's entire life, he was just like, "Hey, don't squeeze the Charmin." I mean, he couldn't walk down the street, go anywhere without, right. you know, he that, had to wear a disguise. I, I read something about the Verizon guy that at, I think at his own mother's funeral, somebody said, "Can you hear me now?" Or yeah. something like oh. that at his own mother's funeral. Like he probably got that all the time. <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe that's the worst job actually. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of uh, of family members, let's uh, meet some of uh, the other Whipples. Ladies, read the sign. Please don't squeeze the charm. Georgie, 
Mother, don't you know Charmin bathroom tissue is squeezably soft? Has gentle fragrance, too. I got a some like it hot situation here. Is that what's going on? No, that's his mom. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. The sign. Oh, that. Here, Georgie, squeeze Charmin yourself. But mother. George Whipple? Gentler than ever. <laughs> Bye, Georgie. You won't be needing this anymore. New Charmin bathroom tissue. Uh, supposedly that commercial got pulled pretty quickly. Really? Because uh, of the, the, the uh, complaints. Dressing and drag thing? Yeah. Yeah. Controversial. No, not, not allowed. Mr. Whipple squeezing Charmin bathroom oh, tissue. I can't believe it. Mr. Whipple, how dare you? But Charmin's so soft, I can't resist it. Deep down, squeezably soft. Soft fragrance, too. George Whipple. I'm not George, I'm Elmer Whipple. My own twin brother. Sorry. Only the black sheep of the family would squeeze Charmin. <laughs> Mr. Whipple! George. Ah, uh, we got like a parent trap, uh, you know, playing twins kind of thing here. Yeah, of course he has. He's a twin. Yeah, uh -huh. it just makes sense. Yep, it's like soap opera plots, really. You know, we're it's getting pretty uh, deep here. Daddy, tell us the story of how you first met mommy. Yeah, Dad, tell us. Oh, we had George. The well, whole okay. family. Oh, look, here's oh, you know, maybe it was Charmin that had the colored. Because look, you got lavender. Yeah, and there's uh, like kind of a. Green, Light pink, green, yeah. lemon color. Yeah, okay, maybe it was Charmin that had well, that. Look, we're going to get some uh, Whipple backstory here. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. There I was, a young man, just starting out. Had my own store. <laughs> Did you stop the ladies from squeezing Charmin? Oh, you betcha. They tried. Charmin bathroom tissue so squeezably soft. It's irresistible. So rich and fluffy, Charmin's a pleasure to squeeze. Soft fragrance, too. But I'd catch him and say, ladies, please don't squeeze the Charmin. Then one day, I saw your mother squeezing Charmin. I was about <laughs> to say, please don't squeeze the Charmin, when I took one look at her and fell in love. <laughs> And he let me squeeze the Charmin, didn't you, George? Yep, and to this day, your mother's the only one I've ever let squeeze the Charmin. Even now, George? Even now. <laughs> Charmin's so squeezably soft. It's irresistible. <laughs> that one is so strange. <sighs> I love it. So, but but I also love knowing that, what's the advertising company? Bowden, Bolden Bowden and Bowles. Yeah, but Bolden, yeah. So that they just hated writing that. And they're just like, I don't know. What do you want to do? Should we just do a little backstory to bring the family in? Should we just do it? Let's just do it. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. So there's wife number one, Mr. Yeah. Mrs. Whipple. George Whipple, aren't you thrilled we're going out for the evening? Yeah, thrilled. Look, your store. What about it? I saw someone in there. Maybe burglars. I'll investigate. I'll call the police. Shoot Be first, careful. ask questions no later, George. Hey, kitty, don't squeeze the Charmin. Let's take the loot and get out of here. But it's nice squeezing Charmin bathroom tissue, Freddy. It's squeezably soft. Oh, boy. Here, squeeze for yourself. The long walk. Yeah, it's soft, all right. Soft deep down. It smells good, too. Charmin's so squeezably New soft, it's irresistible. <laughs> oh, please, don't squeeze the Charmin. We were just leaving. Freddy? Hold it. You've got him, George. That's Freddy the Fox. My hero. Squeezing Charmin's a very serious offense. You're just as guilty, George. Squeezably soft, <laughs> Charmin. Oh, different Mrs. Whipple. This is wife number two. Yep. It's just so much happening in the... Okay. <laughs> wow. And remember, this is just to sell something to wipe your butt after you poop. <laughs> right. That's what this is all about. Just to and clean it, your anal region. So and that. it... And it worked. Yep, it did. <laughs> and they had the country right where they wanted them. He looks a little older here. Don't squeeze yeah. the Charmin. I think he you always looks old. You won't stop him with that voice, dear. Yes, I will. Give up, George. Charmin's so squeezably soft. I'll stop him. Measure it. Wow, Charmin's so big and fluffy. It's so squeezably huh? soft. It's irresistible. Yep. Please don't. What, Mr. Whipple? Charmin, so big and fluffy, Mr. Whipple, speechless. Charmin, so big and fluffy, so squeezably soft. So he lost his voice, and then yeah. 
So he couldn't tell them to not squeeze the Charmin. Yes. And okay. they were taunting him. That's like an episode of like Family Ties where Alex, you know, has a big speech and you know he gets laryngitis or something. So they're 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 reaching the bottom of the barrel here. Yep. And that that was the red haired Mrs. Whipple. So right. number three. Irresistible. George Whipple, are we going to spend our entire vacation visiting supermarkets? Supermarkets are my business. Look, even in this store, the ladies are squeezing the Charmin. Now, George, there's the manager. Ladies, mm -hmm. ladies, please don't squeeze the Charmin. Charmin, so squeezably soft. Can't resist it. Nice fragrance, too. Ladies. Oh, sir, you're doing it all wrong. Watch me. Ladies, please don't squeeze the Charmin. But I can't resist it. It's got a deep down softness. Deep down squeezable softness. Squeeze to yourself. Ladies, please. <laughs> hey, mister, you're pretty good. <laughs> That's my husband. Squeeze for yourself, she said. Deep down softness. Sir, please don't squeeze the Charmin. Charmin bathroom tissue. Deep down <laughs> squeezable softness. This Even on vacation. Madness. I it's know. I know. Look at Mr. Madness. Whipple's vacation outfit, too. He's kind of got a <laughs> yeah. Hawaiian shirt on. Uh, he's kind of Did you go back to on. the uh, manager? Yeah, That's what yeah. I'm going to work for my vacations from now on. Is, like, that, Whipple, Whipple is that from Batman? Is yeah, that... Chief O'Hara? <laughs> is that right? Is, uh... It does look sort of look like the Chief, yeah, from the 60s oh. Batman show. Hmm. So George. Give a, give yeah, totally look, look at that. Look at that uh, face. <laughs> let's see. Oh, real name Clancy. Uh, Statford the... Alois. I, I don't know how to say it. Aloysius? Uh, Rep, uh, a L O I S. Is that, I, I mean, the, the timing Rep? would line oh. up. Yeah. Um, Stafford Rep is his name, and let's see if he. Uh, uh, Charmin. <laughs> I'm finding nothing, but I'll keep looking. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, or even just a photo of him in the in the uh, Batman uniform. We could do a comparison. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am going to say that it is a hundred percent certain. All right, share it. Let's, <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Is that not totally him? Yeah, I that's think that's gotta, him. That's yeah. gotta be it. Yeah. The jowls, the yeah. Yeah. Can we Absolutely. see it again? Let's see the other one. Okay. The, yeah, the. I'll, I can side by side them. I mean, I've seen him do that face on Batman. I mean, yeah, looks like old. Oh, like when 1960s. Batman sprays the Charmin. Yeah, <laughs> that that was a weird episode. Now, While he was on vacation. Yeah, now, I, I gotta say, like when you watch all these back to back to back to back to back, like it's just madness. It's pure madness. It's insanity. Like what yeah. the, what they're talking about, uh, not squeezing the Charmin. He's on vacation, and then he squeezes the Charmin, and then it seems way more, more perverted when you're watching a bunch in a row too, because he yeah. just is like a, he. It is kind of like he does have this compulsion where he knows he shouldn't but he, he he can't help himself like like sunny the uh the, the was cuckoo it? bird from yeah uh, Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. but i have a new theory and that is that um he actually just has many wives it's not like he keeps replacing them. he has wives near every supermarket in town so he can just go he's a polygamist uh, interesting well, okay. yeah sure. just a, yeah i wish i hadn't said that out loud um <laughs> But, you know, it is true. Yes. All right, here we go. Like my T-shirt? Please don't squeeze the charm and squeeze me instead. Great idea, Mr. Whipple. Watch this. Get your Mr. Whipple T-shirt by mail for $1.99 oh. plus two Charmin proofs of purchase. Please don't squeeze the charm. See? Squeeze me instead. Okay, Mr. Whipple. Hello, Mrs. Whipple. Sure. <laughs> Get your Mr. Whipple T-shirt. Yeah. See details in any participating store or write for a required certificate. Oh, well, take a look man. here on Poshmark. We have that very T-shirt vintage going for forty-four dollars. It's on sale right now. That's so. it. Yep, from nineteen seventy-six. That's, That's uh, yeah. So, I feel like I've dated two or three people who've had this shirt and worn it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's. <laughs> I think I know which ones. Yeah. That is currently available somewhere, <laughs> uh, and that is just part of the legacy of Mr. Whipple. We haven't, you know, the, like when we first were preparing this episode, um, Skip, you you hadn't pared it down. You just sent me your research, and it was like two hours of, like you said, of Mr. Whipple. So there's right. a lot more to dive into. Yeah, and Joe, you were talking about watching them back to back. 
So when we would transfer these, these would be on giant 30 minute reels of 16 millimeter. So we would spend like a, like a day or t- and a day and a half, like transferring just Charmin commercials <laughs> yeah. over and over and over and over again. It just, it, it just how many were there? Like there were hundreds, hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds? yeah. Oh boy. There was so, probably 300 at least. The current, now they were eventually able to, um, I guess, take off the shackles of Mr. Whipple and um, Charmin currently has those animated uh, bears. And, but it's interesting, they still don't, they're not that graphic about what toilet paper does uh, and why you'd want it to be soft, for example. But I think they're a little more graphic. I remember them talking about how certain bits of toilet paper get stuck to right the bear bottoms and you see right. little bits of uh, the leading right. brand on these animated bears but they're able to soften it because it's animated i guess so well and it's it, it's on those two jokes which is does the bear shit in the woods yeah right and then what, the other joke is the i don't know if you've heard the one about it's a little little rabbit out in the woods a little white rabbit this bear like jumps on him and he's the rabbit's freaked out and the bear's like no no don't don't worry i just want to ask you a question and the rabbit's like, what? And he says, well, when you when you shit, does it stick to your fur? And the rabbit's like, well, no. So the, the bear picks up the rabbit and wipes his butt with it. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> it's oh, always so bears. Yeah, there's, you're there's right. two shitting jokes related to bears. I knew the one about bear shit and shits in the woods. That's what I always assumed that they went right. with. Like, that's right. the reason why. But I hadn't heard that second one. So thank you, Skip. I'm glad we had you on. I yeah. believe that was in Truly Tasteless Jokes Volume 5, which I Is read it? when I was ah. about six or seven. Yes. Uh, my I, brother's I, it was one of the Truly Tasteless books. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Blanche <laughs> not. Yeah. But I wonder if, like, in this modern day of advertising, when you can advertise in, on, you know, with Instagram ads, if you could just be more graphic about it. Like, hey, look, this gets a lot of shit out. You don't have to use as many sheets. And would that sell? Or do people still want to be delicate about it? Well, I don't know. You think about the the squatty potty, Mm -hmm. um, that stool that you use. I bought Um, one. Yeah. Uh, Like that whole campaign is is basically about like unicorns shitting. Oh, right. Yeah. And they they make it into like a soft serve swirl. It's a rainbow and all that. Yeah. That's pretty graphic. You're right. That's more a modern like Internet age ad for for a toilet related thing. I mean, I hope there's somebody like 60 years from now who has to do what Skip did and bring in all those like squatty potty <laughs> ads and the Charmin bears. And they're yes. just like, Oh, I had to watch them all back to back. Look, they'll be doing that with videos. these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the only reference. <laughs> yeah. When we're putting together this uh, episode, George said, Hey, I think I have something uh, to show on this. And uh, so George, what have you queued up? Well, uh, lately on VCR party, I've been showing, clips of Marvin Zindler, um, investigative reporter uh, in Houston in the 80s. And here is a video of him making um, a toilet-related investigation. Okay. I've done a lot of stories in my time, but never one like this. It's about a woman who found frogs in her toilet. And she didn't want to open her toilet seat because she was afraid another frog would jump out. Club. Ms. Lacey, when Just is the last time afraid. that you opened the lid to your toilet seat? I love that house. Mr. Zenla, I opened the lid on last Tuesday after I had noticed a frog in the john jumping up and down. <laughs> but prior to that time, I had discovered a frog on jumping the bedroom floor on a Saturday night while talking on the telephone. Well, when did you really finally open up and find out they came out of your toilet? When I saw the frog jumping up and down about a week ago, I had come in to use the toilet. When I was in position, I saw this object jumping up and down. I panicked. An object. On that time, I got enough courage to reach over and flush the john. The <laughs> frog went down. John. About two hours later, I could hear a thumping sound against the lid. So I knew that he was not gone. And that's when you became uh, scared and didn't open the lid again. That is correct. And you haven't opened the lid since last Tuesday. That's right. Are these, uh, what kind of frogs are these? 
All I know is a toad frog. I'm not familiar with little toad frogs. Little little toad frogs about this big. They're not the big ones with the big legs that jump around out in the water. Out not in the, the type dish. that I like to eat. Well, here it is, Tuesday night, a week later. <laughs> Look at that toilet. And my cameraman is standing in the bathtub, Bob Dow's. I've got the box. You're going to open up that lid, and we're going to find out if there's any more frogs in that toilet. Okay? Yes. So sir. let's open up. I'm not the turning lid. the channel. There's no, no. way. Oh, oh nice. No, but, but couldn't this be like well, Al Capone's vault? Yeah. If there was a frog in this toilet now, he's gone. He's hiding. <laughs> I love her like toilet setup with like the red. Yeah. Her the, John uh, setup. The, the rug. Yeah, the John setup, and then the tank is covered by that red thing. Well, uh, well, I tell you what. There's no frogs in there now. Where, where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> I have another bathroom, fortunately, and I use that one when necessary. Oh, good question. I guess I wouldn't want to sit on that toilet seat either, having a frog jump in every once in a while. He's <laughs> <laughs> laughing way too hard. <laughs> Please, jump out. Ribbit, ribbit. You know, it's really no <laughs> laughing matter. You know, you yes. can look at me all you want with those big froggy eyes, but I still don't want you little creatures in my commode. You know, I guess you may wonder how those toads get into your john. Well, in this case, they came up through the sewer system, and when plumbers checked out the line, they found five. That's right, five little Kermit lookalikes. What about the advice some city hall employee <laughs> gave Ms. Lacey on how to get rid of her problem? Well, it's just another stupid bureaucratic answer. Marvin Zindler, <laughs> yes. Witness News. Nailed it. Oh, <laughs> uh, then he turns to the Kermit oh. looked like. So Some how the did they get a television. wrestling promoter to be on the news? <laughs> that's See, I, totally I, I, a wrestling promoter. I was going to say either game show host or coach of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope. that's a, He's a fashion those? icon. He had, he, was, he was kicking he was kicking the toilet with shoes that had I think spats. I've never seen those on somebody <laughs> his, in like his, outside of a cartoon. His hair looked like it was made out of Charmin, actually. Yeah. Did you see that? It, was like, it, was, it did look squeezably soft. It yeah. It did. Yeah. yeah. Don't squeeze Marvin Zindler's hair. <laughs> you can't help it. You want to squeeze do it. the Zindler. <laughs> uh, well, well, uh, we learned all about frogs and toilets. What else did we learn today? Well, I know I learned something. Some say life is a game, but if so, it's an elimination match. And when shit gets real, you want to find a toilet or at least a pit filled with sawdust. From the tiniest amoeba to the largest blue whale, expelling waste is as essential to life as consuming nutrients. But while people feel free to dine together, defecation is a lonely process. After a hard day at the office, coworkers don't meet up to chat on a communal commode. No, they save that of all bodily functions for themselves. Or so you would think. For me, having had no younger relatives nor pets of any kind, excretion was a mysterious and embarrassing process. No more so than in second grade when I looked up while in a stall and saw a classmate with a big grin watching me. And it was then that I realized the truth. I was, in fact, the only person on earth who ever had to move their bowels, and everyone else was so embarrassed about my condition that they made sure there were toilets everywhere I went so I wouldn't feel so ashamed. They even created a fake toilet paper industry to make it all seem plausible. Yes, you've all done a marvelous job with the facade, but now the truth must, well, come out. I acknowledge publicly for the first time that I have been full of crap, but I'm no longer flush with embarrassment. Yes. And that's why I always say. Always. I mean, pretty frequently, right? Almost every week. 100% of the time. The more you battle is twice the knowing. Yep. Wow. Great lesson. And it, that you're right. That is a, a ruse. You're the only one who does that gross, embarrassing bodily function. And um, <laughs> sorry, guys. But, but you did it at school. I, I don't think I ever like in the however long we were at school, 16 years. I never went once at school. Oh, well, no. that cured me. That, that experience cured me. 
Oh boy. Oh, George, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you I hope you're talking well, to somebody about this. I'm talking wherever, to you guys about it. <laughs> okay. Wherever <laughs> you're welfares. shitting uh wherever you're shitting this Thanksgiving weekend, uh we're going to give you permission <laughs> to go ahead and squeeze the Sherman. Yeah. And until next week, happy Shatterday. Happy Shatterday. Happy Shatterday. Shatter